Hello, my name is Pini De Basque, and I'm a product manager for database monitoring solutions with Quest. In today's video, we'll review Spotlight on SQL Server Enterprise version 12.1. Spotlight on SQL Server Enterprise 12.1 GA date was November 28, and in this slide, you can see a summary of the new features and enhancements. As you can see in this table, this release has performance diagnostics enhancements, alarm enhancements, improved usability, deployment enhancements, documentation enhancements, and improved quality and overall user experience. Let's start to drill down and explore the new exciting features. Up until this version, there was no way to view long-term SQL text and execution plans because they were simply not stored in the SOSI playback repository. Starting from this release of 12.1, the captured SQL text and execution plans are stored in the playback repository, which allows to view those execution plans not only in real time, but also in playback mode. The next feature is a new alarm that we added named File Group About to Grow, which as its name implies, alerts the DBA before a file is about to grow. Obviously, this is relevant when there are files that are defined to be auto-extend, and in those cases, some users would like to know in advance when the file group is about to grow because, for example, they might want to understand the file system storage implications and react accordingly. This alarm is disabled by default because we know that many customers are completely fine when the file group grows. However, for customers who would like to leverage this new capability, they can do that very easily by enabling this alarm. Another nice feature in this release is the ability to export all the SQL statements to a separate text file. So far, there was no easy way to copy all the SQL statements, but now with this new feature, you can easily export all the SQL statements just by clicking on the statement dimension and clicking on the export all SQL statement button, as you can see in this screenshot. Another important usability enhancement is the new defragmentation wizard. As you can see here, we've added a new pop-up which allows to configure the defragmentation collection via UI. So far, there was no GUI to accomplish that. And with this new GUI, users can define thresholds for which objects we will run the defragmentation check. Also in this release, now once you identified a problematic SQL statement, you can easily view that statement in your favorite external editor, for example, Toad for SQL Server or SQL Server Management Studio. Let's see an example. Here you can see how easy it is to open a problematic statement in SQL Server Management Studio. It also allows to easily leverage Spotlight extensions, which give you query plan analysis and automated and sophisticated SQL tuning recommendations. Also in this release, we've added a new thread count column under the sessions tab in the SQL activity drill down to enable the ability to display a single row per session as an option. So far, if the session had many threads, you would see those as individual rows per each thread. Now it's much easier to determine which session has multiple threads. We've also simplified our requirements for sizing based on the given amount of monitored instances. Here you can see how many CPU and memory resources are required for up to 50 connections and how many are required for up to 100 connections. As you probably know, there is a limit of 100 SQL Server connections per diagnostic server. Now with this release, we will notify the user in case that he is trying to monitor more than 100 instances in 1DS, and we will recommend to use Federation in order to support large enterprise environments. The goal of this enhancement was to ensure that users meet our deployment requirements. This is important to guarantee the optimal performance. Last but not least, we've also added some quality improvements, and in particular, we've improved the overall performance of the product, as well as a better and more accurate calculation of the performance health, which is one of the most popular features in Spotlight.
This was a brief overview of the main features and enhancements of Spotlight on SQL Server Enterprise version 12.1. I hope you enjoyed it. Thank you very much for listening. And if you would like to learn more about Spotlight, please feel free to visit our website.